Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 I'm a Lover Challenge. We are here with the family at the house. And before we get started, I want to just say that I've reset everyone in the town just because it was really lagging down in the last episode. And I'm hoping this is going to fix the issue, but I'm not going to say it's going to. Um, and I also deleted all the memories from everyone in town, uh, hoping that maybe... Making the file size a little smaller will help. I don't know. So we'll see. Anyways, it'll help with saving. So it doesn't hurt either way. Okay, so dad, what do you need to do? Actually, he needs a pee for once. Wow, that's surprising. Uh, let's get him to go to the bathroom. Um, mom needs to just grab some food. Bow, 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 bow. Everyone was about to get up anyways uh, from sleeping. Why is there so much coffee on my counters? <laughs> Someone has been cooking up or cooking up a storm. Yep, they've been cooking up a storm of coffee. No, um, someone's been making a shiz ton of coffee over here. I don't know who it was, but it's a lot. All right, and I'm going to let you eat the waffles. There we go. All right, everyone should be able to... Come down here. She's going to be slow because, you know, old people in Sims 3 walk like two milliseconds an hour. So, they're really slow. They're like child toddler slow. <laughs> like a mix between a child and a toddler on the Sims 3. That's how slow they are. Pretty sad. Alright, so, we've got some country music playing. Isn't that fantabulous? I love it. Not just kidding. It's whatever they they chose to listen to. I didn't choose it for them. So, that's good. Um, Alright. Are you getting your food? Yeah. And he needs to come get his food. That is too loud. Excuse me, music. But you need to find something else to play if you're going to be that loud. Alright, so I'm going to let you come down and grab your food, and then, Dad, you were supposed to go pee. Did you go? Oh, yeah, you did. Okay, never mind. Don't gotta go again. That's dumb. Don't go again. That's dumb. Alright, come on down here, and I'm going to let you have some waffles. Okay, so the school bus should be here soon-ish. Um, and let's see. It's really sad that tomorrow is going to be her last, like, given day because she'll be at 100. Um, what? Oh, rap. Um, he is already two days past, and so his time is definitely coming, you know, he's walking on thin ice here. Um, Caden is about one day away from becoming a teenager, which is pretty exciting, and then we have... Garrett, who is still seven days away from aging up. But there's some things that we need to get done with Garrett before he ages, so let's not rush it. Shall we? <laughs> Alright, Mom. You are good to go upstairs and... Actually, we put a painting easel in here for you, so you don't actually have to go upstairs and go paint because it was too cold. So I'm going to let you paint another large because you are working on the large paintings now. LaShawn has reached elder status. Well... It comes for everyone, folks. It really does. Unfortunately. I wish it didn't sometimes, but it always does. Alright. So, let's see. There is the school bus. So, let's get the kids off to school. Okay, you're cued in to go, which is good, and your little brother is already on his way, I do believe. If I just heard him correctly, he just changed his clothes. Yes, he is. He is on top of today. That's good. Good work, Caden. Way to be on top of shiz. Zam. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, let's go into your camera. And I want to look at your photos. Shoot. Okay. I thought she got a picture done with 
um, Garrett. I can't even think of my kid's name. That's pretty bad. But I thought she got a photo done with Garrett, but I guess not. So what we're going to do is get her so she can do that. I thought that's why we gave her the jock influence, but maybe we never got the photo actually taken. So either way, we'll get it taken and it'll all be good. All right. You need to meet new friends and you need to meet new friends. Dad... All right, you need to clean up your plate, first of all. That's just the appropriate thing to do. Don't leave your shiz on my, on my thing, table. You want to reach level four of the cooking skill. You want to upgrade 16 more items, which is going to be hard for me, unless we go out in town and do it. Throw a party and hug your wife amorously and prepare a meal. Okay, well, we probably could get you to the next cooking level. I mean, how close are you? You are not very close at all. All right, well, let's get you outside first of all. Let's get you to clean up this, recycle this newspaper, and you might as well go ahead and recycle this one as well now that it's here. And then let's get you to go ahead and pay the bills of 822 simoleons, and let's get you to accept some gifts from a friend. Uh, you really impressed the management of, at Cuisine and Contracts Business Park. You were dedicated and a quick learner. Things they prize in their real employees. You've earned a little bit of money and your school performance has improved. Okay, well, he was just a B student. If he could become an A student, that would be great. I'm not going to say he's going to, but that's okay. Um, you are an A student, which is good. Your girlfriend, I think, is in high school, isn't she? I think so. Oh, she's not really your girlfriend yet because she can't really date her yet. But anyways, we're just going to pretend, okay? <laughs> um, Yeah, so this is his girlfriend, which is Trista Bernard. Bernard. Um, Janie Perry and Reuben Perry are a couple, so that's cool. All right, how is she doing on this? I want to get some of his wishes done. Not that we really need the points, but I mean... I don't know. I think she should spend some time, a little bit more time with Caden, and he should spend, actually, he's good with everyone, so he's just a roundabout, all good with everyone kind of person. Okay? Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's get these gifts, and we are clicked on Sir Gary, so when he gets the gifts, we won't have to worry about them giving the gifts, or the uh, lifetime happiness points to someone else. Not that it would be a bad thing, but I'm just saying it's only fair. All right, so Mini Mega, Perfect Genetics, Hybrid Baby. Okay, so this is from Wishing Well 0108. It says, thanks for the gift. I'm just starting a 100 baby challenge. Well, good luck on that because pff, they're hard. Uh, I don't even have, what? how many kids do I have? Three or four? And I'm like ready to go suicidal. So... Anyways, yeah, I haven't actually played my 100 Baby Challenge, but I do plan on getting back to it at one point in a little bit of time. Um, I may actually add it to my LP schedule at some point. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Anyways, so thank you for the gift, and thank you for the bubble bath. That means a lot. And I'm actually all out of gifts today, so all of these gifts are just going to be, you know, non-returns. <laughs> Non-returnable. Um, so this is from Mini Amy 2014. This is for the one that needs it. Do they really need it? Okay, I'm going to save that one then, and I'll take this one instead, which is just the message from the game because it doesn't say for the one that needs it. Um, it's from the same person, Mini Amy 2014. Message from the game. I'm going to go ahead and take it here. And we just got a duck, so thank you so much. Who doesn't want a duck? Why did I click yes? Who knows? <laughs> I'm not sure. All right, this is for Mega or Hybrid. Um, uh, okay, well, I'm going to take this one here, but this one's from Writer Junkie. I don't really have a personal game that I take gifts on here, but these guys could always use the gifts. So I'm going to go ahead and take it here. And it says, in case you need one for your personal game, wish we had gifts for the Sim in The Sims 4. Me too. I really do miss the gifting in The Sims 4. 
Um, I missed a couple things in The Sims 4. I just felt like when we could give gifts, you know, it kind of showed who was frequent players and it was the time that you could, like, spend to help your other fellow sim simmers out. But now you can't really do that. It's kind of different. And I hope they bring it back at some point. Maybe a little bit different than this, but you know, to the same aspect, kind of, but that would be cool. So anyways, thank you so much for that. It really does mean a lot. And let me go ahead and accept this here. We just got the emoticot. So thank you so much for that. And can't send back. Um, and that's it for today. These guys don't need as much help as everyone else, but it's still nice that they can get gifts. Please tell me you're not out here. He's, su he's suicidal, I swear. He's out here with no shoes on and no shirt and just his pajama pants. You can tell he's senile. He's like, what's this white stuff on the ground? I've never seen it before in my life. Which is true. <laughs> he really hasn't. That is so bad. Okay, so I don't really know what we can upgrade. We could upgrade this to Unbreakable, actually. Please tell me you're going to change your clothes before you do this. Please change your clothes. If he doesn't change his clothes, I'm going to make him do it. He's not. Look at him. He's like, I'm an old man. I do what I want. All right. Well, I'm telling you, you should change your clothes before you, like, freeze to death out here. And then you can um upgrade that. He's like, all right, fine. I will this time. <laughs> all right. Do you have after school activities that you go to? No. And do you? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Normally I give my kids after school activities, but I guess I decided that was an end to the O on this family. I like that this family is staying small. Um, in most of my families, my family is like a million kajillion people. So I like that this family is just small and content at being small. Alright, he got 430 simoleons. That's nice. I'm playing The Sims 3 and on there, or The Sims 4, I mean, and on there I'm just playing until my Sims have, like, their first son so I can carry on the family name, but my one family already has three girls and no boys. Yeah, so that's, that's enticing. Um, okay, she's just about done with this painting. And I'm going to change this station. I'm not really feeling it, unfortunately. Uh, if you guys like country feel free but I would rather the pop station ooh that one's nice alright go ahead and take that painting it's worth 688 simoleons alright let's go ahead and paint another large because we need to get this done zoned um, she is just about level 9 so she should probably hit level 9 today and then hopefully soon we could get her to level 10 Caden has met Rosa Burge Adamson at school today. That's exciting. Ooh, this one looks pretty. All right, so in one hour, Sir Garrett will be coming home, and he doesn't really need much. He needs some fun, but to do his homework on the tablet, it's fun for him, so that's good. And he's got a tablet too, right? Yeah, he does. Multi-tab. All righty. I am going to speed up to number two just because these two are just in their zones. Um, he's met Steve Perry at school. All right, that's nice. You want to research the supermarket? Sure, why not? It'll help you. Not that you really need to because you're already maxed out, but psh, you always can take the time. Snaggles Holler has passed on, folks, so that's unfortunate. All right, it's 2 o'clock, so I'm going to slow down. The snow is melting, and it's winter. It's really weird. Uh, the snow has been, like, coming and going every day, so it's really weird. I don't know. Um, but it's only 41 degrees, snow is melting, and there's still 20 days of winter left, so I'm a little bit confused. Um, not going to complain, but that's okay. All right, so you're on your bus coming home, which is good. I'm going to speed you up until you get here, and then I'm going to get you to your homework. And then we're going to work on some things for the challenge because we can't fail at this. Guys, we cannot fail. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get you to do your homework on your multi-tab. And neighbors were bemused. Caden has met Fatima Denson at school. Uh, he's doing great. He's made on the honor roll. That's good. Uh, you need to spend money to make money, noted Karen Perry. He saw the ghost of Oscar Olsen as well. That must have been scary for you, sir. All right, Mom, when you are done, you're going to take that photo with your son. Special. No, it's not under special. It's under friendly. Where is it? 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 Yes, take a photo together with your son. The court-ordered child support owed by Sean Ingberg was paid promptly and with a smile. Being able to afford 200 simoleons without blinking an eye might must be quite nice. Well, that's nice of him to pay his child support. I'm glad we don't have to worry about child support in this one, to be honest with you. Um, just because I'm not feeling child support. I'm sure later on we may have to do that, and it's unfortunate because I really don't want to have to deal with some idiot not paying me, but it may happen. Now that all the unpacking is done, Alexandra Boyce can finally sit back and enjoy her new pad named The Green Cottage. Okay, now it's snowing. Like, seriously, friggin' make up your mind. Are you going to keep the snow or get rid of it? Like, you can't have it both ways. Alexandra Boyce has decided her current home just wasn't cutting it and has moved. Uh, he's upgraded a science research station. Booyah. Biouch. All right. That is a one more thing down for him. He needs, oh my goodness, 14 or 15 more. Phew. He wants a lot. <laughs> he's asking for a lot. Lord. All right. Um... I don't know of anything else that we can literally upgrade in this house. I think we've literally upgraded everything. I'm not going to lie to you right now. I thought you could upgrade these to like auto light or something, but I don't know. Replace. All right, let's re replace it. What happened to it? Oh, that was a chair. Oh, I just replaced a chair. That's all right. It's okay. That's all right. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. All right. Um... I don't think we have anything else, and I don't want them to play with that. I don't know. He can... He could come in here and watch the cooking channel. That would be something he could actually do. So why don't you come do that? Why don't you come in here, watch some TV, and we're going to get you to watch thy cooking channel. What the heck? Oh, it was replacing the chair. I thought that was him. Why is Caden sleeping on a community lot? Ooh, Kelly's up to level 9 now. She feels the inspiration of the great masters. Yay! Good work! Woo-woo! Why is he fainting? Go research the store. Oh, he saw a ghost. Oh, snippity snap. He must be a scaredy cat. A coward. Yep. He totally is. Now look at the snow. Now it's like coming down like a friggin' heavy snowstorm. <sighs> it's a blizzard out there now. It doesn't, it can't make up its mind what it wants to do yet. It's not, it's not quite sure. How close is she to being done? No, she's really close. Ooh, look at that. Pretty. It's worth 586 simoleons. Um, wait, before you take your picture together, please change your outfit. Mm, to your everyday. And I want you to change your outfit to your everyday because I think that's your outerwear. Nope, it is his everyday. Okay. So let me get you to take a photo together now, and then I will let you pee. Okay? I promise. Take a photo together, and then I will let you pee over here. Pee over here in the pee pee zone. Use shower. No, you don't really need a shower, but you could eat some dinner. Um, use, then take your painting. Then go ahead and eat some of the grilled cheese. And you should be good. Okay. 
She's been making, oh, not making out. She's been making the rounds recently, collecting her money, okay? She was making her rounds, collecting her money. Dixie got a promotion. Uh, 900 simoleons may sound like a lot, but to the Waffenschwerde family, it's just another return, okay? Uh, all right, so that's good. I am going to let you... You don't really need fun, but I am going to let you go ahead and grab some dinner. Why don't you eat some of the autumn salad? I'm going to let you go ahead and eat some of the vegetarian chili. This kid is still researching the store. When he gets done, he needs to come home. Then he is going to eat some of the grilled cheese. Then I'm going to get him to do his homework. And then hopefully by then, we'll be ready to do some other things. And tomorrow, Mom and Dad sh should be able to get their photos taken with Caden, which would be exciting. Let me go ahead and put that photo up on the wall, which is in here again. Oh, she does want to master the painting. I'm probably going to knock that one out. Uh, let's see where that go. Camera, photos, view photos, and here's the photo. Where can I put it? Well, let me put it anywhere. Please let me put it up. There we go. Aw, look at that. Look how freaking cute. I love it. I love how the middle is them as like young teens, and then this one is them with their kids as when their kids are, well, not teens, I mean young adults. But this is like them with their kids, and their kid is like about to be a young adult pretty much. So that's exciting. And then what I'll probably do is underneath these photos, I'll probably put their, like his and his young adult photos. But for right now, it's good as is. You want to group up with Garrett? Nah, we're going to, we're going to master the painting skill more than anything. Okay, so Garrett is eating. What does Garrett need to do next? He needs to have at least two boyfriends or girlfriends start dating in high school, which he's actually completed that because he's dating right now. He needs to go on five dates with five different people, find true love as a young adult, get married to a true love right away, have at least two kids, get a divorce as an adult, and then never remarry. Um, his brother, on the other hand, can have a relationship that doesn't have to be so crazy. It just has to be Caden that has to do this. We're going to go with whatever kid is first born into the generation will be the second generation. So, um, unless it says it has to be a certain gender, we're good. Um, so, he needs to have two boyfriends or girlfriends. He's already got one, so he's half done with that. And he needs to go on five dates with different people. So, what we need to do is go on a date with, what's her name? Did that actually count when they did that la in the last episode, like where they were at the gym or whatever? Did that actually count as a date? I'm not really sure. But what I am going to do... Oh, I just deleted all the memories. I was going to say, I will look at the memories, but I can't now. Oh, well. It's fine. Okay, it's only 6.58. Jesse Clark has passed on. Oh. All right, Kelly cannot complete the opportunity, a history of one, because one of the targets is no longer available, which was Jesse Clark. Um, she was supposed to write a biography on him, but I was waiting until she was done painting, but obviously he was older than us and has already passed on, so we can't do that anymore, which is fine. I'm not going to fret and stew over it. I'm going to be honest. Um, all right, so she's already got a little sliver for level nine, level skill level nine, I guess I should say. So that's good. Let's go ahead and let her paint another painting before bed. She can paint a large and then, Dad, when you're done, you still need to reach level four of the cooking skill. How close did you get? Not even halfway through level three. That is bad. Oh, he wasn't even watching the cooking channel. Shoot, I forgot to tell him. So he's going to do that again. Uh, you want to go fishing? You actually want to make a snow angel. Let's do that. It's snowy out here. It should be enough to uh, make a snow angel. Not enough yet? The snow is not deep enough. All right, fine. Whatever. Whatever. This did not go away. I thought we just went to the pool. Maybe we locked it in afterwards. I don't friggin' know. And he is done with that opportunity. He does need to collect the bugs, but 
we'll worry about it later. Mm, why don't you call your girlfriend and just chat with her on the phone for a little while? Go ahead and chat with her. You could send her a friendly text, and then you could go ahead and send her a love letter. That would be nice. So go ahead and do those three things. And then I am going to get you in the house, obviously. Get you to eat, do your homework, and then what do you need to do otherwise? Nothing, really. So when you're done with that, hopefully you'll have enough time you can chat with um, who's going to become your wife. Shavone Singleton is going to be your wife and probably girlfriend as a teenager. All right, Charlie Clark is an adult, okay, which is a dog. And Belle Reed is also an adult, okay. It looks like the food is gone that he was supposed to eat because he didn't eat it. So grab some vegetarian chili. Actually, a lot of it's gone already. That was just being eaten like five seconds ago. All right. Um, tomorrow, after Caden celebrates his birthday, I think what we'll do is we'll let him and mom take a photo and him and dad take a photo right away. So, well, after we change his looks and stuff. So that um, we don't have to worry about not being able to get the photo like this for him as well. Because I really want it for both of them. It's, it's kind of, it's really cute. So I like it. Alright, Jedediah is a child now. Did you complete your homework already? He did. He's, he's a fast little sucker. And he's done too. So that's good. It makes me happy. Oh, and he's not feeling very well either, unfortunately. And it's a full moon today. Whew, jeesh, lots is happening. All right. Zeke Olsen is an adult now, too. Okay, Dad, you got to change this to cooking. Uh, change to the cooking cable. And I'm going to let you watch it with your father. What are you doing? I don't know. But I'm going to let you watch this with your father. So go ahead and watch this channel. And after you're done eating, you can watch it as well if you want up to you. You want to become best friends? Is that what it is? Best friends? Yeah, with Siobhan and you want to become best friends with your mother, Kelly. Oh, look at She's like, oh, it's winter outside. Let's paint a wintry poto photo. A poto? Okay. Now I've gone too far. <laughs> Rosa has reached her teen years. Okay, so there's a new girl, actually. She may be pretty. I really think his girlfriend is really cute. It's a shame that he has to break up with her. Well, it doesn't say that. It says have two boyfriends or girlfriends. I guess you do. <laughs> I was going to say we could keep her, but you can't. But the going on the dates with five different people, that one should be easy to do. The only thing it said we had to do as a teen was start dating as a teen, which he's done, so... We've pretty much completed that part of our lives. Alright. Oh, he's best friends with her now. Play tag with her. You want to give her a gift? Alright, well, we could give her a gift. That would be an easy one to do. I'm sure there's something we could figure out to give her. Arvid is now an elder. Everyone is becoming elders. It's kind of scary. Because if you think about it, our sims have already been elders for a little while and the people that we were like hanging out with as young adults are now becoming elders so that's sad Risa Savard and Eric Wolf Wolford have been seen at each other's throats lately if she could get to the end of her painting skill and get 30,000 points that would be great because then we could get her as well the inheritance money for the kids not that we really need it but it's okay Janika is now a fully mature adult okay okay jeeb jeez you could just go to sleep you don't gotta scream and yell about it all right go ahead and sleep and I'm sure that's probably what you're screaming at me about as well. So don't even go watch TV. Just come up here and go to sleep. 
Dad, you're tired too. So I'm going to let you sleep. And then when you're done with your painting, you can go to sleep as well. All right. So Edvin is now an elder. Yeah, there's a lot more elders coming up now. Everyone is just growing up so very, very fast. It's only about midnight and they're having a fit. It's not even like it was like 3 in the morning or something. But I guess it's a good thing we get them to bed on time. They do have school again tomorrow. Um, so that would be fine. Um, once mom gets into bed, I will go ahead and cut out for the night. So I'm going to speed up just a little bit since everyone else is sleeping. There's no point in me just like... Going slow, the following Sims have inherited items from Josie Vishavishavir, Tabitha Vishavishavir, and no, <laughs> I can't say that last name. She completed a painting valued at 925 smullions. Okay, and it looks like Josie's getting pretty old and won't live forever. All right, when she gets up, let's go ahead and let her take this painting. I'm going to go ahead and cut out since everyone is in bed, and I'll be back in just a second when someone's getting up for their day. Be back in just a second. Alright, so it looks like the old folks are getting up. It's time to wakey wakey. Um, so he is just taking a shower quickly. She is going to be using the bathroom and taking a shower. And since she's a neat sim, I think, or a perfectionist or something, she always, um, oh goodness, this guy just froze in my backyard. But um, she always washes her hands before she gets into the shower. So he should have plenty of time if he doesn't waste it. All right, let's go ahead and let him eat some of the waffles. She can eat some of the pancakes. The boys should be getting up soon because school should be starting here in just a little bit. And so I'm going to get them all taken care of as well. Um, other than that, everyone should be good to go. Where is she going? Oh, yeah, she had to go take her painting. I forgot that I told her to go do that. So, yeah, she has to come down and take her painting. First thing. Alright, so I think today is Sir Caden's birthday, so he should be becoming a teenager, which is exciting, and he should. And uh, we're at 103 days for Gary, <clears throat> and I think we're at 100 days for Kelly. Uh, she had the points, today would be the day that we could actually get the inheritance with her, but she doesn't have the points, so we can't do it. Alright, oh, the guy didn't die, thank goodness. Um... He's got six more days until he ages, so that's okay. I would like to at least get two dates knocked out before we get into, uh, well, one date knocked out before we get to his young adult. At least. If he dates someone else, that's fine, but that's what I'd like to do. All right, so today is actually a school day, so that's exciting. School day. All right. And Gary's already taken his shower. He's like, yes, I have. And I'll be downstairs eating my foods. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let him watch some more TV because he needs to get that skill up to a level four. Not that it really matters, but it's something he wants to do, so we might as well do it. Um, when you're done, I'm hoping there's enough snow out here that you can make a snow angel now, and you can, so go ahead and make your snowy angel. And then you want to give her a gift and become good friends or best friends with Kelly. You know what? He is so freaking lucky that today he doesn't have to go to school on his birthday. That is like the luckiest thing. And we'll probably throw the birthday party probably this afternoon sometime. So that's good. Sharing the wealth. Bobby Reed has chosen to purchase the deed to Coastal Condo at 68 Velcomin, Velcomin Road and make some extra cash via rent. Okay. You do that, friend. She's recently investing her family earnings. Oh my goodness. This guy just passed out now. Alright, so dad can fix it. No big deals. Dad's got the handiness skill up the wazoo over here. He's been wanting to fix everything. So he'll come and unclog it for you, Garrett. Don't worry about it, buddy. Just get what you do. Get done what you need to. Get done what you need to, friend. 
Um, I simply don't know how he gets away with it. No one knows neighbor that Daquan Clark has been ignoring his obligations and not paying his child support. Psh, they always don't pay their child support. Who are you kidding? Schoeningberg was feeling a little lighter the other day after depositing a check for 200 millions in the mail. Okay, maybe th everyone but this guy. Seriously, he's like the only one who I've seen constantly pay their child support. Everyone else is like, screw it. I, if I can get away with it, I certainly am. Cooking cable is what you need to be watching. All right, so Kanisha Haynes and Sean Perry are having a baby now. So weird because the people that were having babies like left and right before are getting old now, and then their kids are now having babies. <sighs> Good times. Like the people who are, or the people, the Sims who were children when we came on are the ones that are having babies now. Everyone else is like done having babies. <laughs> So, we'll see. Um, it's just kind of weird to know that, that that's who's actually having the kids now is their kids. Like, our friends' kids are having kids now instead of our friends. Because all our friends are all old or dead. <laughs> Which is so horrible. Alright, Janie Perry is doing her affection towards partner Reuben Perry. And I know he was a child when we started as well. Goodness gracious. All right, so let's get you to eat your food. Everyone shall be eating except for Gary because he's like eight, like seven years ago. As he ran downstairs this morning <laughs> to grab food. 8,500 simoleons may sound like a lot, but to the Beaker family, it's just another return on their investment. Okay. Um, all right, so she's going to clean all that up, but... After that, I am going to go ahead and let her start painting a large. We're going to be throwing the birthday party in just a little bit. Um, but I want him to invite over her. And I want him to invite her, invite her over. And then that will probably be good for the birthday party. I'm not really going to go all out for it. We don't really, the kids don't really have friends, the parents don't really have friends, so we'll just do, like, the girls that they like, and that'll be good. Alright. What are you doing? <laughs> he's like, I have no idea. Um, he's in the money, okay. And, you're just, is this still the cooking cable? I was gonna say. I'm gonna be angry with you if it's not. But it is, so he's doing good, and she's painting another different photo, which is cool. I like all the different photos you can paint. Alright, Siobhan is coming over for his birthday, which is exciting. We need to buy the cake, and we need to also pick up the, what do you call those? Balloons. So let's go ahead and just pick them up right now while I'm thinking about it. I'm just going to go to outdoors. It's just easier for me for some odd reason. Alright, I'm going to put down the cake here cake. There we go. And then I am going to put the balloons up here next to the door just because that's where I want them. Um, let's see. Scroll down a little bit. Here we go. And I want the blue, green, and red ones. Because we're going to have a teenager and this is going to be an exciting day. And the reason I don't want to wait is because I don't know when anyone's going because everyone is at their end of time. So we need to kind of push this out as, or get this done as quickly as possible. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Are you in your like everyday clothes? Did you finish your snow angel? We didn't watch you, did we? Oh, nope. You're doing it right now. Okay. He's like, Psh, snow day, ain't snow angel time. <laughs> All right. Hopefully someone's going to answer the door if someone's here. Be chatted to. We don't really want to chat with you, but okay. I love their snow angels. I think they're cute. I really miss seasons in The Sims 4 as well. So, that's another thing that's unfortunate. Alright, so why don't you talk with your girlfriend, wherever she is. She's actually going to become your girlfriend today, hopefully. All right, why don't you invite her in? Man, that's really rude to leave her outside in such cold weather in such a small shirt. Trista says, sure, I will be over in a little while. All right, 
you want to hang out with your dad, we could do that. Let's go ahead and have you recycle the newspaper quickly. You also want to talk to Trista, which is worth 150. I think Trista's here. Just saying. Um, what is this speech headed to? All right, I think it's time to start the party, to be honest. Gary just received his money as well. All right. Um, when you're done inviting her inside, let's get you to blow out the candles on your birthday cake. Okay, maybe not. Can you invite her in? Invite her inside. And invite her inside as well. Oh, she can go inside. Okay. So let's just get you to invite him in, her in, and then we should be good. Speed it up a little bit. See if it helps. Come on. Invite this lady inside. I don't want her to leave, but I want to be there for his birthday party. Get off your phone. Alright, well, it's birthday party time. We're just going to have to hope she comes on in on her own. And I'm going to put the walls like this so it looks like there's actually a wall. Why are you laughing? Are you inappropriate? I think he's inappropriate. Yeah, he is. Okay. Whoa, that was weird. Where did she go? She's just in the backyard. That's all she's going to do. Okay. Right. He's ridiculous. All right. Here we go. Should be be too much longer now. Literally. All right, here we go. So loud. All right, because of his success in school, we can choose a trait for Caden. I think I've been randomizing for these guys. I honestly can't remember. I don't think I would have chose coward, so I'm gonna say probably. Oh, I don't really like insane. Hazy elder, come on, something that's not too bad. No sense of humor. Sure. I mean, that wasn't the greatest trait, but to me, it's better than insane. I don't like that trait at all. All right, let's go ahead and, oh boy, let's change your appearance and then let's get you upstairs. Um, and I'm going to get you to change your, or plan your outfit, I guess I should say. And then we're going to do photos with some peeps and some stuffs and some things. All right, Dad, if you could just invite this girl inside, that would be great because I think she's about to freeze to death out here. So why don't you invite her inside? Someone's got to invite her in. Okay. Whoa, you're hitting on the dad? That's a little bit weird. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. That was really weird for me right now. Um, he just prepared the toilet as well. He unclogged it for the boys because the boys are crazy people. Yeah, she just hit on Gary. How freaking weird is that? Ahem. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> You don't need to eat. Please tell me you're not eating, because you don't need to. And neither do you. So you are all good to go. And Kelly, I'm going to get you over here. I am going to let you go ahead and continue this painting. I'm going to let you put away the cake. Can you put it away? Put away those leftovers and these leftovers right here. Go ahead and put these away. Is she still going to eat that even knowing I told her not to? She totally is. She's ridiculous. Um, okay, come in here and let's change your appearance and then let's get you upstairs. And I'm going to let you just plan your outfit on your dresser, which is right here. If I could click on it. 
Go ahead and plan your outfit. And we should be good to go. I hate that his photo hasn't changed yet. It's really annoying. Um, but this has changed to high school now, so that's cool. Alright, <clears throat> it's time to do some cast stuff. Before I get off of here today, I definitely need to get his hair and stuff completed, and I need to go ahead and make sure that we get those photos taken with both Gary and Kelly, because I don't want to forget. So, hopefully we can do that, or at least have it set up for next time so I can remember. Alright, um, what kind of hairstyle do I want for you? I'm not really sure. I think maybe this one might look good on you, but I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not feeling it. Um... That's like the bedhead hair. That's horrible to do to somebody. That one's okay. It's not horrible, but not my favorite. On him, anyways. Um, that one's not bad, actually, but I don't really like the front of it. I don't know what's wrong with the front of it. No, that makes you look like you haven't had a haircut in years. <laughs> it's horrible. That one's okay on you. I kind of like that hair on you, actually. And he's got that funky hair, too. I think it's Gary's hair that he's got. It's like the funky one. I don't know how to explain it. It's like orange, too. Are his ears big? No, they're not. Oh, my goodness. It reminds me of, like, Footloose movie. I really like that one on him, so I'm going to go with that. And I am going to give him smaller eyebrows, just because those ones are a little bit too big for me. Those are more the kinds of eyes that I'm looking for. Alright, everything else I think is good. I'm not going to change anything. I mean, I changed eyebrow shape, but you could do that with tweezers, so it's not really like I'm messing his features up. I'm making him a better person. Oh, it finally changed. Yay! Okay, let's go ahead and see what everyone is up to. Did he actually invite her in finally? Hard okay, good. I'm going to get you to grab a serving of something. Why don't you eat some vegetarian chili? I'm going to let you use this bathroom right here, and then you're going to be a little romantic with your girlfriend. I'm going to use it. And mom... Okay, don't worry about painting. I'm going to get you to take a photo with your son. So when you're done, just go here. And Gary, when you're done, I'm going to have you go over here too. But I couldn't click it because we're going into edit close. I really kind of like the sweater he has on, so I may leave it on him. Actually, I kind of like the whole outfit. i um, going to see if the sweater comes in a different color maybe. I like the red. I'm just not... I want to see if there's, like, another option to it. So... Or if there's something else that I like. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just go with the flow. I know his brother's wearing, like, the base... The baseball coat kind of thing. So... It's cute and all, but it's not something I want to do for both of my kids. So let's just go with... What he's got on. Oh, yeah. It comes in blue... And it comes in... Oh, I like that one. Do I like that one or do I like the red one? You know what? I'm going to leave him in red. I kind of like it, so I'm going to leave him in it. If I want to change it again later, I always can. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. As long as it's not like one crazy outfit, we're good. Alright. Go. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a case in point right there. All right, so you're probably going to go to prom, so we're going to want some kind of fancy-looking clothes for the prom. And not too fancy. I mean, I didn't give him a tie or anything, but the nice little so tux cool. is cute. Um, At your parents' house? I'm not really sure That's what I would choose to wear at my parents' house. Though I'm not a boy, so I don't really know. But I'm going to give you pants instead. And I think I'm going to take the shirt off. So 
So let's just give you no shirt for that part. Um, and then for athletics, yeah, this music is getting way too loud, so we have to hurry up. Um, More doing so. Okay, so there we go. We've just got some random classic music in the background, but that's okay. Let's go with this. And I don't really know how much he's going to be working out, but the whole point is if he does, or if we decide that he needs to, we'll at least have appropriate clothes on him for that f event. Um, I'm just going to give him black ones. It's not the best outfit in the world, probably, but it's athletic. It's not supposed to be, like, splendid. Okay, the shorts are fine. Let's just take the shirt off. You don't swim in a shirt unless maybe you're a girl. And then some girls do, and I understand why I do, because I'm such a pale-colored person. I almost said pale-colored sim. That was bad. No, my skin is so pale-colored that, like, when I go swimming, if I don't have, like, a t white t-shirt on... I burn to the color of a lobster, so I have to wear one. Alright, I really like that jacket, but I'm not really sure that I like the color of it on you. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go with it. And I'm going to leave you in the pants and the shoes that you have on, because you're good. You're actually the first sim that I've let actually keep outfits Lord. that they've put together. I don't think it, that's ever happened to me before. I've always had to change it because it's just ridiculous half the time. All right, and when you're done eating, let's get you to go here. I am going to get you to come over here. You're going to take the photo with your mother. All right, well, you just wait because your son's going to come and take a photo with you. She's so freaking cute, isn't she? And you know what we should do? We should get them officially dating, too, if we could. If we have enough time for it. I don't know if we'll have enough time for all that, but that's okay. Is she a young adult, actually? She kind of looks like she might be. Eight gifts to accept? Okay, well, that's fine. All right, I am going to let you... First off, your father needs to change his freaking clothes. He walks around in these pants everywhere, so he doesn't care. Change your outfit to your everyday, please. I at least hope that I did the same thing. Yeah, he at least had his everyday clothes on. And he's excited because we celebrated his birthday! Woo-hoo! Alright, so let's be friendly, and I don't know if you can choose it. No, you can't. So, hold on. Let's get your dad to choose it with you, then. Um, friendly, more, bam. Take your photo together. That'll be good. Yeah, I think she's definitely a young adult compared to him, so... She's much older. This may not be a perfect solution for him. I don't know how much older she is, but we should probably ask that question. Alright, so mom, I'm going to get you to take a photo with your son in just a second. I love that they're taking photos with them. It's so cute. Friendly... Take a photo with him. And Dad, I'm going to get you to go grab some food out of the refrigerator. Go ahead and eat some... <clears throat> eat some vegetarian chili. Um, where is your girlfriend? Oh, she's just sitting on the couch like a good girl. Not upstairs in the parents' bedroom playing on the video games. Why don't you dance together? Why don't you slow dance with her? And I'm going to lock this in instead. And I think they both got their photo done now. I hope, anyways. Why is he, like, flipping out over this? I'm not sure. But hopefully it was a good photo. All right, let's go see if they were good photos, at least, so we can hang them up. So we need to hang up our photos. All right. Um, phone, camera, photos, view photos. Um, no, that one's bad. So, we could keep it, but, um, I'm not going to hang it up for their photo, unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and get you to take your photo. Photo. 
view photos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we gotta get them to take a new one together, too. Oh my goodness, I love it. Why is he not smiling with his dad, though? He's making, like, a silly face. Okay, I might want a different photo with that as well. I mean, they're, they're cute and all, but I want them, like, smiling and looking happy. So, let's have Mom do another photo with him. Mom, friendly, more, more. Take a photo together. Hopefully this one will come out good. Why is she embarrassed? From situations like this should be avoided at all costs. They're hard to live down. Oh, goodness. All right, hopefully after this you can use and then paint. Because... A little worry about you. It's only five, six, or it's like six at night, I guess I should say. All right, so let's get this photo redone. Okay, so I think that one came out nicer. Okay, let's check it out. Camera, photos, view photos. Her eye is funky, but it's funky in this one over here, too, if you don't realize. There we go. So those are the boys. Older, younger. They definitely look a lot alike, but his face is a little bit different shaped, I think, than his. It's only worth zero simoleons. Not, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Put it back. Okay. I'm going to see if this girl... Oh, I'm going to actually get Dad to take his photo again with you. But... Ooh, that was spicy. Sorry, friend. Um, friendly, more, more. If we could just get these photos done, I'd be so excited. I really would be excited. Oh, he can always remember when he first danced with Trista. How cute. Alright, photo time. Why is he, like, sitting? It's so weird. Okay. Random. What's he doing? Oh, there we go. That was really weird. Okay. Hopefully that photo came out good. Alright, let's go see. Did it come out good, guys? Or did you guys just ruin it? Because this is the end of my time. No, they're still so serious. Okay, one last try before I end this. If they don't get a better one, then that's what I'm going with. But he was smiling with, um... He was smiling in the photo with, uh... Garrett. So... You should smile with Caden. Okay, I'm hoping that was our, our money shot. Come on, guys. You can do it. <gasps> Yay! They smiled! Woo woo! Okay, and I want this one with them. So funny. But I'm gonna hang this over here. Okay, why is it like a million times higher than the other ones? And I need to put this photo up because it's really funny. I'm just gonna put it right here. <laughs> Um, I don't think she has any funny photos in her invent in hers. Uh, view your photos. No. <laughs> We're not putting that up. That was just scary. Um, so that is a really cute photo of them. It's a funny one to remember them by. Um, and as eld an elder couple. I would like to get one with them smiling together or kissing or something. Um, as elders. But otherwise, it's cute. Why is this like... It's being ridiculous, but I'm just going to put down one more. It's going to be a little bit lower, but it's the best I can do. At least they're smiling in it. I would like to get a photo, though, of mom and dad smiling. Because... <laughs> this is funny. But, um... I would like to get it done as soon as I can. If we have time, we'll do it. But if not, oh well. 
we've got plenty of photos of them up on the walls and now I've got both of the kids so I feel much much better anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode in the next one we'll continue on with <sighs> Kelly painting because she's not even I don't even think she's halfway through level nine yet um Gary is going to still be on thin ice with time because his he's getting quite a bit over now. We're going to start getting Caden um, working on his grades because he's back to a C now. And then we've got to get Garrett to get out on a possibly a date um, in the next one with her and then probably break up with her unfortunately. And we're going to have to look for a different girl to go on a date with. We actually have to find four other girls. And the last girl we're going to get married to. So that's how it's going to be. Anyways, if you guys like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, there is a donation part on my page now. So if you want to donate, feel free. Um, if you don't, it's totally optional. You don't have to. It's not like I'm saying you have to. But... Um, it would go towards me getting either a better graphics card or a better computer so I can continue to make really good videos for you guys. And, uh, yeah. Um, also, feel free to check out my Twitch channel and feel free to follow me on Twitter. Um, I post up there like when I'm done recording certain videos or things like that. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my very next one. So thanks so much for watching.